This is my intro song because all the songs in the world are copyrighted. And this is my page. It's called Out of Range. And here's my ugly face. And I gotta go. That's my song. Day 34. Day 34. Snowing been snowing for almost 24 hours the first significant snowfall this winter actually so it's gonna uh, it's going to uh, make it very difficult to walk out of here but it's gonna make the trail uh, it's gonna fix the trail so that we can someday tow that snowmobile out of here um, also it was like a crazy windstorm last night so all the snow that fell in the forest part where the trail is, the wind, I could see the wind blew the snow out of the trees. So instead of the snow being stuck in the trees and not covering the trail, I'm sure most of the snow made it down to the ground. So that's good news as far as, uh, what, what do I call it? Lucifer's laneway goes. I've been calling it the inferno for fucking three weeks, but it's the laneway. Lucifer's laneway is what I named it on day one. So, motivation to go out there is at a fucking all-time low. I'll tell you that right now, but I'll probably end up out there. But right now, you know me, once to start something. Well, maybe you don't know me, but let me tell you about me. Once to start something, I, I, I don't want to stop. So, we've been working on a cooksa. Yesterday, we burned a hole into the top of a log. And uh, this is where we're at so far. If I can pick this fucking log up, I hope you can see. This is what we got so far. Now, <clears throat> digging through my bin yesterday looking for something. I found a piece of steel wool that I brought to uh, put around the chimney pipe that I never used. So uh, I'm going to actually use this to kind of smooth out the inside and make it kind of like a sandpaper, you know. So I was pretty happy to find that. And then uh, this is my thing for washing dishes. I'll smooth it even more so I'm getting a little out of control with how smooth it needs to be because it's probably never going to be used it's it's full of cracks it'll probably break it'll probably break it'll probably break when I'm trying to but who knows we're going to try so before I start uh, cutting away at the excess wood I'm going to like I said smooth out the inside and today we're going to make pitch glue hopefully uh, the clouds kind of because it's really gloomy and dark, and I know the lighting's going to be shit in here. Um, but if we can get the lighting going, uh, we'll make more pitch glue. And uh, that's what we have so far. I have no other plans. Uh, I did not sleep well. I slept, like, for the first time, I slept right till 5 in the morning. And then uh, I could not go back to sleep. Fucking insomnia, fucking thinking about life, and fucking what you should have done, and what you shouldn't have done, and all that bullshit, you know? Your brain starts to... So yeah, I did not sleep well. I sat here in the dark for two hours. Uh, anyways, rambling. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start uh, smoothing out the inside of this cook saw. Okay, bye. Tried uh, doing some preliminary cuts with the old uh, Fisker here. Uh -uh. I'm gonna. I'm going to wait till I get dressed and uh, we're gonna pull out the chainsaw. <laughs> Cause uh, my fucking hands are hurting. So we're gonna chainsaw that later.
might get lucky with some daylight. I think the sun wants to poke through. Oh yeah, still snowing a bit though. Oh yeah, blue skies are coming. Okay, we're gonna have some good lighting to make pitch glue later. That's good. I think I'm gonna get dressed and uh, trim around that, uh, trim that cook so I get the old, uh, get the chainsaw started. Have you guys seen this lately? Look at this thing. I hope it's fucking pointing the right way there. This here turned out so nice. Know what I'm saying? Pretty proud of that one. Very nice. Okay, cooks are next. Emma, that's for you.
So a couple of little fuck ups here guys. We chipped off a big chunk right here. Like I didn't cut it, it just chipped off. So that's a little thin there. We might have to bring it down a bit because that's, that's real thin. <coughs> uh, so I'm gonna leave this on here on this stump like this and bring it in and we'll work our way to uh, to what we want. It seems a lot smaller than when I had, what I had envisioned, but that's what we got. Let's go in and whittle away, guys. Cook's an update. Plugging away, plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. It's looking, it's looking good, it's looking good. All right, guys, we're going to take a little break from that kooksa because, uh, you know, and uh, we're going to we're going to start on that pitch glue. So the first thing we got to do is dry out these fresh rabbit turds that we picked a few days ago. So I don't know how many I have, but oh, I got lots. I got lots. I think there's some in here, too. What's in here? Yep. There's some in here too. Get in there, get in there, get in there. So we're just gonna throw that on the uh, wood stove and dry them out. Right beside my sausage lunch. All right, while we wait for our rabbit turds to dry out, we're going to uh, grind up some charcoal. So in case you didn't watch that first time we did it, it's basically uh, pine pitch, grounded charcoal, and grounded up rabbit turds. Those are the ingredients. So I'm just going to crush up some of this stuff. And uh, while we wait for rabbit turds, okay? Try out those sticks a little bit, they're pretty green. falling off the roof okay I don't know if they're dried out yet but we're gonna give it a try so we got our ground up uh, coal let's just see if these are dry enough first nope 
Nope, still a little soft, guys. Better put those back on the stove. We're close, though. We're close. All right. really pissed about that cook so guys just to show you where my morale's at the moment that cracked the first thought in my head was I want to go home but we're gonna tough it out a little while longer we're gonna play with fucking rabbit shit because that's fun to do it's always fun We got charcoal, we got rabbit turds, now all we need is the pitch. This is the stuff we gathered. Just from being in here and being warm in here, it, it hardened into one big piece of, one big piece of pine tar. So we're just gonna, I don't know if that's too much pine tar for the amount of coal and crap we got, probably. So, we're not going to go too crazy here. I'm going to do half the bag. Maybe a little more. You know what? Fuck it. Get the whole fucking bag. And we'll see if maybe we don't have enough charcoal or rabbit poop if it affects. If it affects. The, uh, the usefulness. Anyways, let's get this on the stove. We'll melt this up here. Um, remember the first time we made it, we ate oysters because the little oyster can was perfect. But uh, when Mr. Corner was here, he uh, brought some fucking food and I was digging through the garbage looking for something and I found that, which is perfect. So there you go. We're just going to wait for that to melt and then uh, we'll do some mixing. Nicely. All right, guys. Of course, the lighting turned to shit. So sorry about the lantern, but we need lighting. So I've been scraping back the. I uh, hope you can see. I've been scraping back the bits up back here because there's some bits in there. And now uh, we're just gonna add the charcoal. Charcoal. more and some rabbit turd a little bit more okay let's give that a stir and see what it looks like where's my fucking glove <sighs> hope the lighting's okay guys Probably too, a little bit too much charcoal and uh, rabbit turds in that one, which is pretty gritty. But I think it'll still work. It's just pretty gritty. So now the trick, guys, because it cools really quick, is to grab your stick, roll that shit on there. It's already hardening, fuck. So you just want to get it started, right? Mm. 
and you'll see this will harden real fast. Lick the fingers. Hope you can see. Okay, and we're gonna add some more. Oh, that's a big one, guys. That's a beauty. Can you see? Let's go in the, in the window here. How's that? Do you see that? Okay, one big fat glue stick. I think I'm going a little crazy here, guys. Oh, that's hot on the fingers. Going to light and away from that loud ass fucking lantern. That's burning the fucking fingers real good. So, four big fat pitch glue sticks. Now, this will harden hard like a rock. I've explained this in the other video if you watched. This will get hard like a rock. And when you need some glue, you just heat it up a little bit and Bob's your uncle. We're going to use some of this to uh, glue this rope right here. And hold on. And it's we're going to put a little bit underneath that uh, fur condom we made right there too. And I might glue that cooksa. <laughs> I really don't want to give up on it, man. I worked so hard on it. So we're gonna let these dry and harden, and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, my motivation level is a zero. I'm probably gonna lay down with that crossword, and uh, this might I might fucking talk to you like later on tonight and make this a two-day episode. I don't know, because I really don't want to do shit. Okay, pitch glue done. So I decided to just glue that broken piece on so this could never be used and it's a it's a failure but I still want to get it as close to as looking like a cooks as I can and then uh, we'll take it off the base I can't I can't keep carving because I'm gonna break it more this is just the wrong wood to use right so which we knew from the beginning but at least I'll have something. I'll have a broken, cracked, useless cooksa. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to whittle some of it. I'm going to whittle some of it. And watch me break it more. And then I'll be really mad. So, I should probably concentrate. Oh, I cut that crooked. 
Ay, 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 ay. Oh, she's heavy. She's got a lot of extra weight at the bottom here. So hopefully I could whittle away at that. She's pretty thick back here for no reason. Right here, she's real thin. That's where she cracked. See? Uh, it sucks. It sucks. But. If I had to, I could probably drink some water out of this right now. I don't know which way to fucking point this for lighting, so I'm trying every which way. Ah, so upsetting. All right, this is what I'm going with, guys. I can't make it any prettier or else I risk cracking it more. So, there'll be no sanding or... Anyways. Anyways. It's very disappointing, but... That's what we got. Still fucking snowing. Jesus. At some point, guys, we're gonna have to worry about uh, we're gonna have to worry about being able to get my truck onto the highway because uh, the snowbanks are gonna be pretty big and hard. All right, I'm gonna split a little bit of firewood, put my chainsaw away. So two snow machines just showed up and just did a loop of the lake and uh, I gotta tell you, I had some serious fucking social anxiety. My first instinct was to reach for the shotgun. <laughs> Maybe I've been in the bush too long. Probably just a couple of guys taking advantage of the fresh powder. Well, you know what the good news is about that, guys? The good news is, is uh, they're going to pack down this fucking freshly fallen snow so that if I decide to uh, walk home in the next couple of days and it doesn't snow more, I don't know why I'm not facing the camera. If it doesn't snow more and we decide to walk out, It'll be a lot easier than trying to trick through uh, whatever fell, eight, eight to ten inches of snow. So that's good. But man, talk about fucking social anxiety. I heard the noise and I went, oh my God. And I looked and I seen the fucking lights on the sleds and it was like panicking. I was panicking. My first instinct, like I said, was to reach for the shotgun. <laughs> Uh, I've been away from people too long. Uh, we're going to go home soon. Real soon. I think the scheduled... I think the scheduled end of the lockdown is uh, Tuesday. Today's Saturday. So. We might go home Tuesday. We might go home before that. I might go home after that. I don't know. Right now I'm thinking Tuesday. Oh no, I tied that up afterwards. God damn it. some shoes, no big deal. Oh, 
Oh, the sensor light's working again. I'm gonna bump that, aren't I? Definitely gonna hit that. I don't know if that's sufficient lighting for you guys. Probably not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. There's, can you see me if I do this? Okay, so day, what fucking day are we? 34? It's a wrap. Just gonna cook up these two steaks and uh, eat them and go to sleep. I've just been lounging most of, the, most of the night doing crosswords. Oh my god, it's cold out here. And uh, there's no point in me standing out here, really. Minus 15, it says, guys. Oh, so I realize this fucking lantern is super loud, but you know the drill. Fucking lighting is shit. And uh, it is what it is. So I've come to a, a decision. Today is Saturday. And on Tuesday, Tuesday is supposed to be the end of lockdown. Tuesday is supposed to be the end of lockdown. And whether it is or not, I'm ready to go. So Tuesday is the day I'm going to walk home. So... Tomorrow's Sunday, we'll uh, probably get some fishing in, just so uh, I don't feel like I didn't do enough. <laughs> and uh, Monday will be, uh, like, I gotta, I gotta, like, pack and clean up, and, because who knows when we'll be back, you know? It won't be long, because we gotta come get that snowmobile, but it might just be for that, just to come and grab the snowmobile and go and not stay so we can't leave anything outside or on the ice or we got to clean up so we'll do that monday and tuesday bright and early we'll uh shoelace express that shit figure out exactly what we're gonna carry out of here just the electronics alone are pretty heavy electronics i need gotta bring my gun anyways we'll figure that out on monday so that's a wrap um, today was just arts and crafts day again, so you can see we're kind of losing, losing motivation and, uh, stories to tell and things to do. So, it's time to go soon. We will, uh, catch you in the AM, so that's deuces. Let's see you tomorrow.